this video will show you how to add tokens to your MetaMask wallet using the Binance Smart Chain. This is for people that are yield farming or you may be doing uh, pools, basically staking where you're earning percentages uh, every single day off of your coins. Okay, we're going to show you, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to show you how to add to your wallet. First step, of course, is you got to have the MetaMask wallet. As you see here, MetaMask is an extension to Google Chrome. So you download that. Remember, you got your 12 word phrase that you got. Remember, you don't lose that. You write it down. And once you're on your wallet, remember, typically you're going to be on that Ethereum wallet here. But because you're on the Binance Smart Chain, you got to click on that Binance Smart Chain. I got another video where we talk, show you how to make sure that you're properly on the Binance Smart Chain uh, using CoinGecko. It's really simple. Uh, I can show you. In fact, I'll show you that really, really quick. We won't take a lot of time. All you do is you go to CoinGecko.com, and then we're going to go to the Binance Chain. Uh, so Binance Coin right now is doing pretty good, $510. Once you're at CoinGecko.com, if you go to the Binance Coin, BNB, I just click that. This is on CoinGecko. I scroll down and I have instructions here. What is the Binance coin? What is it used for? And then there's some information down here uh, regarding the Binance Smart Chain. You know what? I think it's on, maybe it's on PancakeSwap. I thought it was here. If, it's, if you don't see it here, you can also, it should be on the PancakeSwap as well. Or you can just go to Binance right here. You see it has Binance Smart Chain ecosystem. Um, but that's another video. I don't want to go too deep into it. I want to mainly show you how can you add coins to uh, your, look at Pan Pancake Swap. Let's look at this. I want to show you how to add the coins to your wallet. So I'm looking at the Pancake Swap token. It talks about what is cake. And this talks about how to use the Binance Smart Chain. So you go here. Remember, I just went to CoinGecko. I went to PancakeSwap. I clicked on that. You scroll to the bottom. This gives you the instructions for the settings that you need to input right here in your MetaMask. Once you, you go to that, remember, you got your MetaMask installed on Google Chrome. Right? I, I said you can do this on your phone as well. Okay? You can do it both on your phone and your computer. However, when you're doing your transactions, it's best to do the transactions actually uh, on the computer okay all right so you see I've already added I'm on the smart chain already Binance smart chain I had to go into the settings but this it talks about how you do it you go into your settings you add Binance smart chain you got to copy and paste this put the 56 BNB all right let's get back to the purpose of this video sorry about that distraction so what happens is, let's say you're using a pancake swap, right? And, and also, let me briefly show you this too, since we're talking about it. Remember, we were just looking up the Binance ecosystem. So all of these coins can be found here, right? So the Binance ecosystem here, the see that top Binance Smart Chain ecosystem coins. So this tells you what that was popping. So pancake swap graph. Uh, one inch Venus all of this stuff is here remember these are synthetic versions of the real asset meaning this is the smart chain version it's not it's different from the ethereum version but the prices are all the same all right this is just another way to get access and stake and earn free money basically uh, and so you see these coins here now let's say you've you want to add these coins or let's say you've already had them to your wallet because if we take a look at this Binance Smart Chain wallet in this video you see there's some tokens that are already in it you see there's some eGold, Barry token, Lena token now remember this is different from if you're on your Ethereum you can go to the Ethereum wallet and you're going to see different coins that are here you see because this is a different chain with different activity going on All right. So if you find yourself and you're saying, hold on, I had some money, uh, it's missing, what you do is you can check your Ethereum wallet or you go to your Binance wallet, boom, 
Now sometimes if you have to restart your computer or clear your, your data, these coins will disappear, but your money did not disappear. It's good to take a snapshot or write these coins down because if they disappear from your wallet, all you got to do is add the coins back, but I'm going to show you how to add them back because you but it's, you can't add them back if you don't know what coins that were there. So, one trick you can do is you go to the Binance Smart Chain. Now, there's coins that I know that I had that's not showing up. So, one was the bake bakery swap. So, you go to look at this bsscan.com forward slash yield farms. Look at that. Look at that bsscan.com. This is where you got to go forward slash yield farms. This will have all of the, you can just type in whatever coin that you're missing. Click, and there's the token address right there. That's all you need is that contract address. And once this, and you see that copy address, boom, you just hit the copy button. You go into your smart chain here. You click on the, uh, the wallet. Allow this site to switch your network. And now what we want to do is we want to scroll down and we want to add that token. Now you got to go to custom token and you just paste that address. You see how bake just showed up eight decimals. And then, so these are the three things going to look for the contract address. Going to say what's the symbol and then what, how many uh, decimals in this case, 18. Click on the next button. Going to add that token. Okay. All right. So that's the bake token there. Now, let me show you another way. So I was on bakery swap. I knew I had some bake at some point, but I see it's not in my wallet. So this is why you have to also remember where are you staking those coins. So you have to write this stuff down. And I'll show you another way you can do this is you can go to yield watch y e i l d watch dot I think it's dot is it dot com? Let's look. It's either yieldwatch.com or yieldwatch like dot finance. Here's another cool trick. So let's look at this. Oh, I'll put BSC for Binance. Okay, maybe it's yieldwatch.net perhaps. All right, here it is. And so here, what you would have to do is you have to copy and paste. Uh, your Binance chain wallet address and it will tell you a lot of the coins that you have here that you may forgot that you had so, I, so look all I did is I clicked on my MetaMask opened it up I click copy the account and I'm gonna paste it here this is yearwatch.net and this will show you where some of your coins are being staked. So you can see like, oh, okay, these are some of the coins I have. And so you may forget, remember, if you for like, so I'm seeing here, here's one of Bondly, uh, Lean. Okay, all of these are already in the wallet. Okay, so this, this is really, if you forget uh, where some of your coins are, this could let, or what coins you had, you can go there. That's one route. Again, you come to Binance Smart Chain is another route, and literally you just add those coins back, whatever coin that you was you thought you were missing, uh, and it will automatically show up here. Boom, in Binance Chain as you add these tokens. Another shortcut too is say for instance you're using like pancake swap I like this because you literally you click on this details here you go to pools so I'm in the pool section I click pools under pancake swap dot finance for slash pools and then you'll see if you look at these pools and you click this detail button it'll say add bondly or add this token to metamask and once you click it you click approve and it will automatically add it to your MetaMask. That's how those tokens will show up here. Remember, you can have money in your wallet 
it'll be in your on the blockchain but it may not show up in your wallet until you add the token so you know you got to remember what tokens you have and to add the tokens basically you're adding the contract address those contract addresses can be found here on BSC scan remember you want the contract address they're going to ask for the decimal and they also will ask for that third thing which is the, uh, the abbreviation so I hope this helps see you in the next video